If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm boasting. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PTNG. And praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Bang your man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I know what time it is. The doctor's at the house, man. So we have some pretty interesting news, man. You know, we just saw the saw the fight, man, with Naya Inway and TJ Doheny, man. And Naya Inway essentially made that boy quick. Body punchers. And now you see the reaction from Doheny. That one hurt him. Oh, I'm hurt. Oh, my neck. My back. My neck and my back. You know what I'm saying, man? Say no mas, you know what I'm talking about? No mas in a way, you feel me? So, uh, you know, after that, you know, shortly after that, man, we had some good news coming from, in my opinion, it's good news, great news, actually. You know, we're saying we, we are expected to see um, now you anyway again by the end of this year, you know what I'm saying? It was announced by Bob Arum, you know? That's why I think this is great news. You know, we, we're supposed to see him on December 24th against Sam Goodman, you know? Uh, they're going to try to try to do the Sam Goodman thing again, you know, on December 24th, which is Christmas Eve, good Lord willing, you know? But then also in addition to that, they said that he might share a card with uh, Junto Nakatani, man, who was my favorite up and coming uh, 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 fighter out of Japan right now, man. And, and they could share a card. That'd be a fire card fire for sure and um that'll be in april of 2025 good lord willing so that'd be dope man and then um uh they haven't announced an opponent but then they also said which is very intriguing and this is what we always all wanted those of you that pay those of us that pay attention to small division divisions they say that we will get Junto Nakatani versus Naya Inway later on down the line after that. So April 2025, we could expect Junto and Naya Inway to share a card to share a card together. And then after that, they'll be potentially facing each other. You know, it's boxing, right? Everything moves with fluidity, so nothing's for sure. But I just like the fact that they have this in their mind and they're even thinking about that uh, um, in the up and coming future. You know what I'm saying? Good Lord willing, even though it's down the road. So I think that's good news. That's great. Now, for now for as, as it pertains to uh, Naya Inway, we can kind of assume or guesstimate or hypothesize who he'll be fighting right so they haven't they said sam goodman hopefully they're going to try that again because initially he was supposed to be fighting sam goodman as opposed to tj doheny but sam goodman pulled out had his other fight and then you know they fought tj doheny so now they're going for the ibf mandatory and, and sam goodman again in december so we know now you'll probably fight him in, in him in december then in april if things go accordingly, how we hope, how I hope, um, in April, his fight will be against MJ Akhmadaliev, you know what I'm saying? Because I think that's that's a formidable opponent. I think Naya anyway beats both of them, but I definitely think MJ Akhmadaliev, with his pedigree, with his Olympic background, um, you know, I think that he poses the biggest threat at 122 for Naya anyway, in my estimation, even though I still think Naya anyway wins, but it'll be a tough fight, right? Um, and then, um, but even if it's not MJ Akhmadaliev, I'll be cool with somebody like Kevin Gonzalez or maybe even John Rio Casimero, you know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, so hopefully it'll be Sam Goodman in December, like they said. Then April, the opponent, I'm hoping it'll be MJ Akhmadaliev. And then after that, it'll be Junto. That'd be dope. But for Junto, that's where it's a little question mark, right? Because Junto Nakatani, I don't know about you, but I've been wanting him to fight more formidable opponents and possibly even uh, unify at 118, which is Bantamweight. You know, and there's four champions there right now. We all love unifications, right? You know what I'm saying? Because people are irate about certain people not unifying, like Brian Norman and drawing boots in this. You know what I'm saying? They didn't care about Stan Yonis and Barrios, but for some reason, they're focused on Brian Norman and, 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 and boots in this, right? Uh, so apparently, they're the only people that can unify in boxing. But uh, yeah, we love unifications, right? So if we're going with that theme, then, you know, there's four champions down there at Bantamweight, you know, uh, one being uh, uh, Yoshiki Takei, who we just saw on the uh, Naya Inway card going against um, Daigo Higo, which I thought they poss possibly lost that fight, but it was a good fight um, either way. And then uh, we also have uh, Nishida, who's another champion. Then we have uh, Takuma Inway, who's Naya Inway's younger brother, and we have Junta Nakatani. My ideal uh, scenario would always be, like I've always said before many times, I would like to see Junta Nakatani and Takuma Inoue fight, even if he doesn't go for undisputed, but I think that would be the best unification fight right there, and then I think Junta Nakatani would beat Takuma Inoue, yeah. and that was set up like a anime-ish revenge arc for Daya Inoue to try to fight Junto to try to avenge his brother. Your brother's soul is mine. Oh no! No, 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 no! Oh no! You will be next. That'd be so dope, man. I think that'd be fire. And I think Junto Nakatani will go ahead and beat both the Inoue brothers. And if his cousin Koki, in a way, the big, I think he's at 140 or 147, he wants to come down and get it, I think Junto will handle him too. You know what I'm talking about? I think Junto's a bad boy. But uh, that's just my, <laughs> that's just my opinion, my theory. But yeah, so for Junto Nakatani, you know, um, if he, we just seen him beat Astrolabio with a body shot, a jab to the body. It was a stiff jab in one round. So I expect to see him again this year. But in, in April, I'm hoping that he could fight Takuma, in a way. So we'll see Naya, in a way, going against 
Kenji Akmadali of April 2025 and Takuma Inoue versus uh, Junto Nakatani. I think Junto Nakatani will win. And then that car- that card um, um, that will feature them going against each other in the future, that will set up a big pay-per-view event, man. I think that'll be fire, man. And we'll have Junto Nakatani versus Nai Inoue. Now, will things go like that for sure? Probably not. <laughs> That's my idealistic game plan and future fight setup for Juto Nakatani and Naya Inoue. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that, man. Do you like that setup? And if not, tell me who you would like Naya Inoue to fight. Would you like him to fight, I don't know, Elijah Pierce or somebody else or something like that, and Juto Nakatani to fight one of his contenders or something like that as opposed to them fighting each other. But I would love, before Juto Nakatani and Naya Inoue fight, I would love to see Juto Nakatani and Takuma Inoue fight first or, you know, Junto Nagatani at least unify with somebody in the Bantamweight division at 118 since there's four champions, man. I appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Y'all be easy. Take care of yourselves. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God. We're nothing. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.